beautiful people welcome back to our channel i'm here again do not forget that i am the chairman of the broke community and the chairman of many updates right thank you so much now um this video goes to those who would be studying in europe from 2024 this year 2025 and uh, the coming years ahead and i'm talking about those that specifically would be going to the most industrialized country in europe and the powerhouse of europe which is germany my name is milton funkwa if you're just joining please share the video for us it's going to help us a lot and equally if you share this video like the video and subscribe you are giving me water to drink thank you so much for the work i am doing now let's go straight to the video there is updates i want you people to take note of i know many of my followers don't know yet please if you intend to study in germany or looking for opportunities to study in europe make sure you watch this video to the end because you are going to grab a lot from it okay now let's go to the update you remember some few years back only germany and uh, norway were tuition free what i mean here is if you wanted to study in norway as an international student you were not going to pay tuition that was then not now because right now norway introduced a uh, tuition payment i think that was in autumn 2023 then there is rumors now about germany that germany is going to introduce tuition fee from september 2024 i'm going to break it down to you they said okay no more uh, international studying again for free in norway now the only country which was left was germany and to those that will be moving to germany already this april as some have already started lectures there is still free education but if you intend to study i think german schools were free public schools i'm talking about here i have a lot of them on this youtube channel they were absolutely free except for some few schools in stuttgart an area in germany where most programs were not free but apart of that almost all state universities were free in germany but recently if you check this information you are going to see what i am talking about technical university of munich which is the best university well the best or maybe one of the best if you check the world university ranking you are going to understand what i am talking about this school is already they already implement like they are going to start collecting tuition fee from international students come september 2024 so if you are watching me and you've applied to technical university of munich just know that you are going to pay a fee of six thousand euros as of september if you want to start september 2024 technical university of munich is going to charge you i mean the program starts october anyways now you know why it's going to be a big issue and um, why i'm here to talk about it technical university of munich if you check the world university ranking and the qos ranking you will see that it is a top ranked school in germany and the best in germany if not the first the second now it's going to have impact on other universities because if the best school is already collecting tuition fee it means that the others will follow right yes so why i'm making this video is i want to draw your attention to the fact that this school is collecting a tuition fee worth six thousand euros from october this year so if you apply please check how much your own program is going to cost and you also need to understand that it is not every student who is applying to this school who will be charged a tuition fee some programs are still free okay but some are going to charge a tuition now it's going to impact the other schools because this is the best school and this school is going to now pass the law because if i'm the best i have the right to bring suggestions to others well for to those who know what i'm talking about they already know so at the end of the day the others will also be charging i'm talking about state universities not private business schools you should also understand that not all programs like i said are going to ask for money and again if you take a look at the bavaria region there is another school to those of you who have been following me for long that i always talk about dogendorf institute of technology dogendorf is not going to be charging tuition this september but dogendorf is going to be charging tuition by uh, october next year 2025 2026 intake that's when dogendorf institute of technology is going to be charging tuition fee now 
international students if you are watching me and you are not taking action if you want to move to germany please make sure you start by putting in your application now the advantage here is that not all schools are asking for tuition so when you are checking the school programs make sure you also check the tuition fee section because now if you go to Dugandorf, you will see it is clearly stated there 2025 2026 tuition will be introduced then for technical university of machine or munich it's already written there now to help you skyrocket through this go to universities that haven't indicated or maybe nothing is on their website about tuition you apply to them as fast as possible if you think appointment is going to help you because some people still have issues when it comes to appointments i hope you understand then to those of you who are going to degendorf who intend to apply to degendorf institute of technology they have some few programs in english language and of course msc programs in english language so check them out i am talking because i know those programs but i want you to check so that you understand certain things then i do not know i have not checked this school lately but this is a good school if you apply to and finally move to germany they are they are not charging tuition fee as of now probably maybe they will begin by 2025 so check them university of mining and technology in freiburg okay not buck back with e r g so please check them out it is a joe science school it is a school that specializes in uh, petroleum engineering geology geosciences, sciences environmental sciences now these are some of the few things i wanted you to know i'm going to talk more about others in subsequent videos and again with regards to technical university of munich i'm going to bring out some of the courses that are charging a tuition for this year and those that are not charging any tuition fee i hope you understand we are going to talk about that so that we break it down slowly slowly so everybody can actually get the material well this question from a follower the question was like this milton i want to know my chances of getting the study visa to canada this year i am about applying for my visa well international students if you are new here my name is milton Fonkwa. thank you so much for joining our platform if you need a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me book from there bow link here or you let us know in the comments if i see it i will give you the payment details then i will talk to you i will guide you on some of the things you need to know i only talk i only guide people and tell them this is what you should take this is what is right for you and your family okay so without said let's talk about this so this person was asking me what are his chances of getting a study visa to canada come september 2024 or to, he wants to start studies in september now milton cannot dependently say that this is your chance this is what you should know no i do not work with immigration i only guide people looking at the circumstances in place now let's take a look at something earlier this year i think that was in december or january between december and january the canadian officials said that canada was uh, having a lot of issues in terms of housing therefore and they have noticed that most of the people that collect some of these buildings or accommodations in canada are international students therefore they have equally noticed that the international students uh, hike has been increasing over the years in canada and they are now going to stop some uh, international students from coming into canada which means that the number of study permits that were approved last year is going to experience a decline this year and as we are talking right now the total number of residence permits have reduced from 800,000 as of last year to 360,000 this year which means that all over the world Canada will only accept 360,000 students in their country. Now, this is because of the housing crisis and so many other factors. Why am I saying this? I'm talking to these people who are always asking Milton about their chances. Milton cannot know. And remember, now that the conditions are getting tougher, few people will go into Canada. And these few people that will be entering Canada, some of them will get priorities, like some will be prioritized. What I mean here is Canada has a particular group of people they are looking at. Canada needs specific persons in particular sectors, so they will be prioritizing those people. And remember, they recently introduced what is called attestation, okay, provincial attestation. That is a tool. Without you getting a provincial attestation from your university or school, you cannot apply for a study visa 
to Canada CCA, which will eventually get you a study permit. So please, note that your chances, nobody can guarantee you any visa. I have said this many times, no agent can guarantee you a visa. Nobody can guarantee you a visa. Only your documentation and what you tell IRCC is going to guarantee you a visa. That is to take you to the next part, which is try to apply early, try to put in the right application, try to put in the right documentation, pay attention to details and of course you wait because this is the only way you can succeed in it if it's positive excellent if it's negative you try again soldiers never give up so this is something you should put into consideration also remember that if you are applying for masters and phd you can move with your family to canada if you are applying for diplomas and everything postgraduate diploma you cannot move with your family to canada so put this into consideration that is another way to limit international students which the government already mentioned that i hope you understand this so please put in this and keep going it is never too late